Welcome to Autodesk Inventor 101, Basics of Inventor. Today we're going to be looking at some of the most basic commands to get you started with Inventor. These would be sketching and dimensioning, as well as the trim and extend commands. To begin, choose to start a new part. In the top left corner of the ribbon, click on the Start 2D Sketch button. By selecting the XY plane, we'll automatically be placed into the front view 2D sketching environment. In the sketch tab on the ribbon, we'll choose to use the line command and draw a line by left clicking one point, moving the mouse and left clicking a second point. For now, we won't worry about the length of the line. It's important to note that the line command doesn't end after one line is drawn, but can be continued for a second point or a third point as many as you choose. We'll now finish drawing a rectangle. To make sure that the end points of our lines match up, drag the mouse over the starting end point and then a dotted line will guide you to finish your line. By right clicking and choosing OK, we'll be done with the line command. Next, let's define our lines to have a specific length by selecting the dimension tool from the ribbon. After selecting the bottom line, a box will appear allowing us to type a specific length, in this case 2.5 inches. We'll do the same thing for the second line we sketched, defining this to have a length of a quarter inch. Notice the other lines change in size with the dimensions based on the existing line constraints. With that, we'll continue drawing the rest of our shape that will end up looking something like the letter Z. Again, we won't worry about dimensioning these lines at this point. You'll notice that we have a line that's now longer than necessary. To fix this, we'll choose to use the trim command, hover over the line, and left click it. Where the newly removed line was, you'll see that the existing line is made up of two parts. To make this one consecutive line, hover over the smaller line segment, select the line, and press delete. Then go up to the ribbon and choose the extend command. Move near the bottom of the remaining line segment and left click to extend the line to the next closest point. All that is left is the dimensioning of the remainder of the lines. Most of these dimensions are done by selecting lines as before, but you'll see that it's possible to choose two points and define the distance between them. By clicking the Finish Sketch button, we're now ready to turn our 2D sketch into 3D geometry, which is what we'll take a look at in the next Inventor 101 tutorial.